And I think the most important uh, distinction that makes the biggest difference, especially for folks like myself who aren't, uh, you know, naturally uh, good designers, is pick templates that actually, you know, serve your purposes. So this is a, you know, a simple template on a card, but that actually does a lot of heavy lifting uh, for us, right? I mean, targeting authors and therapists and uh, folks like that who are looking for simple alternatives to things like Linktree, et cetera. Like the more complicated sites that I have, the less likely I am to use them. So here's another one. Again, uh, as some of you know who I've talked to even earlier today, I really recommend a template like this, even though it's very, very you know, minimalistic and it doesn't really seem to do much. This is a great sort of page that you can sell to clients very, very quickly an online, uh, you know, newsletter opt-in page that's like very highly focused. It's pretty, it's simple, it's not complicated. And you can do literally 20 of these an hour if you wanted, if you had that sort of volume of, you know, either enthusiasm or, you know, clients, right? Um, you know, all of these sorts of sites to me are much better than the, you know, much more convoluted, uh, complicated sorts of sites that many of us think we ought to, you know, be building, right? So the same is true on Framer. So you can see here's our Framer backend. And, you know, the sites that I find most useful or that have the most obvious utility are, are similar, right? Something like this, uh, which I built uh, yesterday on the 26th of June as, you know, an example of something you could do on Framer in 20 minutes, again, with, you know, affiliate links, um, you know, product sales, like this is an e-commerce uh, functionality built into it, uh, you know, essentially using Lemon Squeezy. There's a component for Framer that's uh, for Lemon Squeezy and for Gumroad. So each you know, they're separate, but you can sell your products and they pop up in an overlay. You can promote affiliate products like this, right? This is our circle affiliate link, uh, which again is really, really easy to, you know, incorporate into a single page, you know, uh, framer uh, design. I'm saying some of this badly, but all of the, you know, the themes that, um, you know, I'm most interested in for both Framer and for a card are things that have like an immediate utility. I just actually downloaded this earlier today. Again, it's the same thing. It has an immediate, uh, you know, simple utility that has value to potential clients, right? I mean, I don't care. Like I actually do care. I'm, uh, let me restate that. I would love to be you know, like a great designer who could build these crazy animations and something like Framer with, you know, really cool colors and all this like really elaborate uh, kind of, you know, aesthetics. But that doesn't really, you know, it doesn't A, intersect with my skills and talents and B, it's not really, you know, it, it, like it's not viable um, for me to try to compete with folks who are just, you know, natively really, really good at you know web design and there's a limited amount of people actually who are really interested in you know those sorts of like highly complicated aesthetically appealing you know beautiful branded sites and those generally are not people that i'm targeting as you know an audience right so again if you're trying to distinguish between these two platforms card is very simple it's much more remedial in some ways uh and you know, there are far more limited templates uh, for card than there are for Framer. Framer is coming out with like new templates every damn day. And some of them are really, really, uh, you know, quite pretty. Let's go back into our dashboard. I'll show you some of the other ones that I've bought or downloaded. Um, here, let's go into templates. Something like this I really like as well that I've made some modifications to, as you can see, like for selling courses and services, like a landing page for clients. Um, this is taking a minute to load, which is never helpful when you're doing these live videos. Let's get out of that and let's see if I can pull it up a different way. For some reason, the template section seems to load more slowly. 
I mean, here's another, oh, these are all templates actually. Let's, let's go back to the dashboard. Here, this I really like for both our own courses. So you can see this here, right? Really, really pretty. You have to forget about the wake up bitches, your true nature awaits. This is clearly the kinds of placeholders I come up with at three o'clock in the morning after far too much wine, apparently. All right, but you know, this is like a really nice landing page for a course and or a invoice i mean ostensibly this is for invoices uh and you can actually do this for clients very very quickly it has a lot of utility it looks great and you know you really couldn't do something this smooth in card very very easily so again my recommendation to those of you who are looking at you know distinguishing between these two uh, platforms you know pick themes and templates and um you know, frameworks that actually appeal to your ideal audience that have a specific usefulness or utility and that you can actually sell and that you can actually sell in a way that is efficient, is enjoyable, and isn't is empirical. I mean, that's you're not bullshitting people. You're not trying to tell them they need something that they don't, but you're actually giving them something that improves on what they already have. And again, this is ideal for social media landing pages, um, you know, about me, link tree alternatives, link and bio style alternatives, etc. And the last thing I'll say is what 